Hi there my lovelies, this is Jenna here, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to make a detox soup. It's going to be a high protein soup, low carb, uh, packed with proteins and nutrients and it's going to do a very nice cleanse in your body because um, we deserve it and it's delicious. It's not like thin and like a bland like the detox soups we see. Follow me, I'll show you. All right, first we start with water, not oil, okay? Because we want this very wholesome and very light. So we're going to saute some onions. A little bit of garlic. We don't want any color here, okay? I have this medley of vegetables here that I think that they are the best for this kind of a detox soup. I am not going to add any potatoes because I want the good carbs and I want the carbs coming from the carrots and the broccoli and the pumpkin. But if you want to add it, that's totally up to you. It's not necessary though. Just remind you that uh, the smaller you cut your vegetables, the faster it's gonna take to cook. So the cooking time, it actually depends on how big uh, you cut your vegetables. And uh, also what I like to do is to keep the broccoli uh, and cook it separately and then add it to my soup as I serve it because I like the broccoli al dente as opposed to mushy and soft and uh, I actually can stand that. So uh, yes, that's why I cooked it separately. Right now we're going to take a little bit of the cooking water, okay, that beautiful broth, and we're going to blend with, with the white beans, um, cannellini beans, whatever you call it, where you live. Uh, it can also be chickpeas, but the cannellini beans, the white beans, they give these um, nutty, buttery taste to the soup. And uh, we are also going to add the uh, whole chickpeas, cooked chickpeas to the soup. So. I think if you add the uh, blended chickpeas with chickpeas, it's going to be a little bit too much. So that's what I did. And this is going to give a creaminess to the soup that the potatoes would do, okay? But we're not any potatoes. So it's going to, be, it's going to give a thickness and um, creaminess to the soup. And of course, protein and nutrition. soup in uh, large batches what I like to do is to cook it with simple uh, uh, spices like a, not, or no spices at all better uh, only salt pepper and uh, a little bit of lemon just to increase you know the saltiness because when you add lemon to your food you have the impression you give the impression to your taste buds that you that you're eating more salt than you actually are so this is brilliant and uh, I separate in uh, different uh, containers and then I freeze it and when I'm going to reheat them then I add either a little bit of curry a little bit of a uh, garam masala or a little bit of um, let's see barbear because I love the Ethiopian uh, vibe so you can choose Mexican spices you know so you have different uh, vibe different uh, 
uh, soups. You have in the same base, but you have, uh, you added different spices. So this is another thing. because this is a beautiful, gorgeous, and so tasty soup. It is uh, uh, very nutritious, and you have the impression that you ate a lot because it's very filling. This is brilliant also, don't you think? So make it and let me know. And if you do, please tag me on uh, Instagram and Facebook. I love when you guys do that. You are geniuses. When you add your touch to my food, and then you transform it, and then you send me the pictures, I get so proud. I get so happy. That's what I'm here for, to help you guys and inspire you, hopefully. So give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, share it with your friends. If you like it, share it with your enemies. If you don't like it, the important thing is to share. And i see you next time. Have a fabulous week. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.